Yo, yo, shalom, brothers and sisters. I want to do a little cross-referencing study with you guys about the birth pains. There's scriptures, there's a few scriptures that cross-reference that speak about birth pains. And when you hear birth pains, of course, as a woman, the first thing we think of is having a baby. And that's exactly what God is using because um, we know the pains having a baby is pretty intense right and it only gets worse as as you you know as you go along the pains increase um so I'll do, i want to do a little cross reference and i'm going to leave it on this this is um a little book someone asked me about this little book this was my aunt's i've had it for a while it's about to fall apart i use it so much um but it's actually it's called, let's see, Daily Light is what it's called, and it's from like the late 50s, but um, I'm going to leave it on this so you guys can read these scriptures, the fence of the cross, but I want to um, cross-reference a few scriptures speaking on birth pains. Jeremiah 431, for I've heard a voice as a woman in labor, the anguish as of her who brings forth her first child, the voice of the daughter of Zion bewailing herself she spreads her hands saying woe is me now for my soul is weary because of murderers cross referencing into isaiah the book of isaiah 26 17 through 18 as a woman with child is in pain and cries out in her pains when she draws near the time of her delivery so have we been in your sight, O Lord. We have been with child. We have been in pain. We have, as it were, brought forth wind. We have not accomplished any deliverance in the earth, nor have the inhabitants of the world fallen. Cross reference into the book of Hosea 13:13. 13, 13. The sorrows of a woman in childbirth shall come upon him. He is an unwise son. For he should not stay long where children are born. Matthew 24, 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And Jesus tells us what the beginning of sorrows are and the birth pains and the things that's going to take place upon the earth. I definitely suggest reading the whole context of Matthew 24, family. Also, in the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 8, For a nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be earthquakes in various places, and there will be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. That was just spoke in the book of Matthew. We are warned many, many times that the trials and the tribulations, the sorrows, will come. And that we will, as believers, of Christ have to face them. Lastly, family, Revelation chapter 12, verses 1 through 2, the woman, the child, and the dragon. Now a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with a moon under her feet, and on her head a garland of twelve stars. Then being with child, she cried out in labor and in pain to give birth. Everything that is spoke in this book will take place, family. It's all according to his time. But I suggest that we get ready to face these pains. And as a woman, we know that going through those pains leads to a great joy. So remember that, family, when we face these things, that when it's all said and done, we will have the greatest joy ever. Love you guys. Y'all have a blessed Monday. Later.